this cabinet area needs to be cleaned out. Um, I used to have a really great system in here for all of our command center sort of things. Uh, and it just has, over the years, has become very jumbled and a collect all place for all the things. Um, I've already actually pulled some stuff out that had been kind of hiding up in here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and try and get this organized and cleaned out. Um, obviously there aren't systems that are in place that are working for the things that we have. Now on the door, I used to have a really nice sort of bulletin board type thing, um, and it had a chalkboard and it had a corkboard area, um, and so a lot of these things were actually on it. This is tape, and the door needs cleaned, but it's just has not been working very well for us uh, because that thing fell apart and uh, now it's just kind of a collection of stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start going through all of this. I'm going to go through all the papers and the receipts and all the various things that should not be where they are um, and get this organized. So this is a look at the before and we're going to go ahead and make it look like an after. So this little bin holds all of our tech stuff. Um, I have all of the things for like my camera gear and whatnot. Is they're actually in um, a homeschool room, kind of with my um, what do you call it? My office supplies. I have a desk and things like that, and I've got everything organized there. But this is for like we've got an old phone. Um, we've got different cords for different things. And they are sort of organized uh, in these little containers, um, but it is still kind of a jumbled mess. I actually do still have a camera in here. This is an old camera that doesn't really work very well, but it still does work, so I've gotten rid of it. Um, and anyways, I'm gonna go through this and get this kind of cleaned out and organized. All right, so here's what we are looking at as far as mess is concerned. Um, I did go ahead and get the cable bin all set up here. Um, there are a couple cables here that I'm not sure what they are for, so I am going to have to go and kind of check what these are for. Um, but we did kind of get this all set up. I don't like actually having it up here, but to be perfectly honest, this is kind of the only spot for it to go. So... Um, Let's see, what else? Um, I used this Norwex cloth to just go ahead and wipe out the cabinet. I replenished some envelopes here and I replaced, there was something else here and I put larger envelopes there in the back. So in the, um, there's actually slots. Let's see if I can see, yeah. There's actually slots right there. Oh look, there's like a recipe card hanging down. Um, and so these are small envelopes, large envelopes, and then I also have some of these kind of um, accordion folder things. So we have a store here in Canada called Canadian Tire. And when you shop there, they give you this Canadian Tire money. And so you can collect this and then use it to redeem money off of your purchases. So in here, I have got, oh, as if, <laughs> um, I have got all of our Canadian Tire money, and so I'm going to just put all of the money that I find in here. So this, along with these um, things right here, receipts and coupons, we don't really do a whole lot with coupons. We also put gift cards in here. These were actually from Old Navy, like many years ago. Um, and they fit really well, like just right in there. And it does give us place for us to collect all of those things. And this also is good for receipts. We love to get coffee at McDonald's. On the coffee cup itself, it has these little things. Um, and they come, each cup has stickers as well, and so you can redeem for a free cup of coffee. Um, as you can see, we've started a lot of them. I've got more over here, and only one of these is actually complete. So, side note to us, uh, don't peel off any more of these. Just stick them on all the ones we've got going. Um, we've also got some gift cards over here, so they will go ahead and go into our coupon uh, container. And then... In here are some gift certificates for some rounds of golf for my husband. So I'm gonna get those in here. Uh, these 
also these are from our local pizza company you can stick these little stickers on and if you get like 12 or something then you can redeem for a free pizza so I'm gonna stick those in there because normally they go on a magnet and we don't have a magnet because we had turned um, one in before uh, so anyways we're just collecting the stickers until then so anyways all of this stuff I'm gonna go ahead and get into my coupon container Okay, so here's what that looks like. I actually didn't realize that these two slots on the side are a lot more narrow than this one in the middle, and the coupon holders have to go in the middle because they won't fit, and the large envelopes that I initially had there uh, don't fit. So we do have a spot over here in uh, this cupboard that is for like envelopes and things like that this is another disaster that I need to get to um, so I just put those back for now um, so this to top totally isn't done I feel like I can arrange it maybe a little bit better right here I've just put some little notepads I'm thinking I don't know we never use them because they are back there so I may move them but for now they're so next I'm going to go ahead and go through our pen container. So this actually, this side was coming off, like it just was totally off and I saw that I could just slide it back in place and it was because it was just overstuffed with pens and things. So I'm going to go through all of the pens, see what works and what doesn't. Um, some of these things like, this is one of our homeschool pencils, this can go back in the homeschool room. And same with like these are like from my desk. Um, and some of these so not all of the, those pens actually will need to go in here um, I had this like there was this really old bubble container like the bubbles like I don't know if it's gonna focus but the bubbles are like all congealed here on the bottom so that's total garbage this is a pencil that goes at my desk um, we've got just like a paintbrush that doesn't go there uh, a nail file um, yeah so I'm just gonna kind of go through all of this and see what should go in here and what shouldn't and then clean that out a bit okay so I went through and I tested all of the pens these are all of the things that can go elsewhere um, in here I've got black pens, blue pens. This is a Scentsy spatula. It helps get your wax out of your warmers and because I have a lot of warmers around this area, um, I keep that in there. We've got two pairs of scissors. I kept one highlighter and uh, just some black Sharpies. So this can go back up in the cupboard and it actually goes right here and it fits perfectly. Behind it, I usually have some other things, so I'm gonna go ahead and just gather those things. So normally I have um, a set of these chalk markers. Um, oh, here are more notepads. So, I don't know if I wanna put those up in the cupboard or hang one on the fridge. Um, I don't usually like a whole lot on my fridge and I kinda have the max that I want, so I think I will go ahead and put these just up in the back here. I also keep some laminating sheets on hand to label the kids' water bottles and things. Um, so I keep those in the back, and I don't know if there's anything else. I'm not really seeing anything, but those go in behind the pen cup. So this is how it looks. It fits exactly perfectly. Like, this has to be pushed all the way over for it to fit, but it is, it's a perfect fit. Um, and so in behind, I did put a chalk... Well, I don't think you can see. But I did put the chalk markers. I tipped them upside down and um, I put the laminating sheets back there as well. I have this little trash can and this came from the Dollar Tree. This um, I like to put in dead batteries so that we can recycle them properly. Um, usually I have it sitting right here but I'm thinking I might actually just put it back in behind. So I don't know if I can move this so you can see. But that's what things look like back there. Um, it's not like we don't come across dead batteries all of the time. And it's either myself or my husband that are taking care of them. So to have that in behind, I think, is an A-OK -okay thing to do. So this is the drawer that is inside of our this little black caddy here. And this black uh, desk organizer thing came from HomeSense, which is basically home goods in the USA. Um, they always have stuff like this there. 
So inside I have a couple of little dishes and this one has spare change and I did find a dime somewhere. There it is. And then this one has some command hooks and paper clips. I'm actually gonna take the command hook out because, or the command strip, because I do have a spot for these in my laundry room, kind of in the drunk drawer area. So I actually have a spot for those and I found a couple paper clips. So they're gonna go in there. Um, in behind here are a couple, see this has kind of gotten all messed up, but we've got a few of these tape runners. We've got a mini stapler. This is a tape measure. This is washi tape and I will stick this onto spice jars or um, food that's going in the pantry or in that we've like decanted or things that are going in the fridge like in a glass container. I will rip off a piece of this and I'll use my sharpie and I'll write the date or whatever the product is. So I keep that in there. Um, we've got more tape, some hand lotion, some more washi, um, sticky notes, chalk, like all kinds of things. So I'm going to just go ahead and tidy up this little area. Okay, so I just kind of tidied things up in here. I think the next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm going to pick up some of these little bins because I could really compartmentalize a lot of this stuff in here. Um, it gets disorganized because it's not compartmentalized. If it just sits in there and it's going to move around. So I'm definitely going to pick some of these up the next time I go and then I'll have a spot for each of these items. But I wiped out the drawer and I tidied it up and took out anything that wasn't, wasn't or shouldn't be in there. I'm also going to get a little container to put this sort of stuff. So this was a Christmas ornament that was my husband's when he was younger and it got broke this past Christmas. So it does need to be repaired. Um, and so it's just been kind of sitting inside the cupboard, but I think what I'm going to do is make it a point to repair this, but also I'm going to get a little container just to hold this sort of stuff so that it isn't getting further damaged by just sitting inside of the cupboard. So for now, I'm just gonna place it um, inside of here. I'm gonna count how many of these little containers that I need so that the next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I can get them um, and I'll know how many I need so I'm not just guessing. Okay, so here is how things look now. I guess this is sort of the after. Um, I did go ahead and put the tech basket back and I put our room spray back. This is just a really quick place to have it to freshen up <laughs> the scent of all the things. Um, I do have all of this stack right here. This will go into the homeschool room and it'll be sorted and it'll go where it needs to go. Um, this little eraser, I'm going to get this washed up and then this will be for our big marker board in the homeschool room. Um, what else did I pull out? Uh, I did pull out, this is my contact uh, address book from Emily Lay and that was in this other cupboard but it makes more sense to be in here um, behind here is where all of our envelopes and mailing supplies are so I'm gonna keep that there and then this here is my menu planner so um, and these are my home management things so just having all of this right here um, this is just an extension of our command center so we tend to get like an excess pile up of papers and I need to work on all of the paper systems um, that are with these two filing things here to help manage all of that. I pulled out my simplified planner. Um, a lot of the time I was keeping it just right in here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just put it at my desk. That makes more sense. Um, to have it there. So I've got a lot of stuff to throw away and recycle. Um, I'm going to tidy up this whole little area and put everything where it needs to go. There's actually more Canadian Tire money there that I can put away. Um, but other than that, yay. So for over here, um, I'm just going to leave this for now simply because I don't have anything to put onto the cupboard itself. I'm going to wash some of this gunk off um, and I'm going to look for something for here, whether I put some corkboard tiles or something like that, um, I will keep you posted on what I do with that. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just start working on this part of the cupboard. So as you can see, this is a very deep, deep shelf. So I actually have to do like two layers of stuff. And so um, 
this shelf down here is kind of my husband's stuff and he has this binder thing here in the back that was not fitting up straight so I had to raise up the shelf um, and so back here kind of all he's a professional dog trainer and so back here are all of his um, records and things like that so I'm gonna get that kind of straightened up for him now in the top, in the back here, I actually have our mailbox system, like with all of our envelopes. There's various types of envelopes. We have our um, church directories, we have some address labels, and lots more envelopes, packing tape, and things like that. And then this is another set of envelopes that um, needs to go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that back. So it just lives in the back. I'm going to put these in when I have two hands. Um, and then on the side here is where I actually keep my Christmas planner. And then um, I'm also going to put my Disney planner in the back there as well because both of these things are things that I'm not going to need but once a year. So that is where they live. So this is my Disney planner and I'm going to get it stuck right back there. Okay, so next I'm going to put in these two file folder things. Um, inside I have got these dividers. These actually need to be totally gone through. This one is more my stuff and this one is more my husband's. Um, this is another project I think for another day. <sighs> it's a big one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just stick these back in the cupboard for now and then um, when he's home um, we'll go through these together and get a good system in place for our papers because if there's one thing that I do have issue with it is a paper storage. Um, it's just it's just not good people. <laughs> okay so I had to tell you guys I found so much space. Um, yeah okay so I've got my bins here I've got my home management stuff here I've got my um, address book here my meal planner and then on this clipboard are just a bunch of papers that were in this cupboard that are important um, but I don't know what to do with them yet so I've just clipped them onto this clipboard if we need to access them soon we know where they are and then once I get our filing system set up in place we can purge and whatnot I think some things are like I don't know really important stuff so it's there's just on the clipboard okay so down here here's where I found so much space um, I've got all my husband's binders and things and this little bin is actually sort of like his catch-all uh, he tends to be one of these people that just drop things everywhere and he has lots of little piddly things um, and I just need a place for them so I have used this bin to hold all of his so sorry my camera cut off um, in the back here, that is his catch-all bin. It used to just actually stay right here in the front, but I was able to clear out some stuff, and now I have all of this space. I don't necessarily want his little catch-all bin back there, only because it's something that we access all of the time. So um, I do have all this front space to figure out what to do with, but for now, it's just going to be what it is because I don't have anything to put there, and that's probably a really good thing. Okay, so down here is the kids' art stuff. Now, this is another area that has become a nightmare, um, an absolute nightmare. So we're going to need to go through that. And on the bottom, that's where I keep my, my purse. It's on its <laughs> it's sitting upside, like on its side, simply because it's too wide to fit in the in the opening there. Um, but that is usually where I keep my purse. So... Now I'm going to figure out if I'm going to do this area tonight or have my kids do it or what. I'm not really sure, um, but I'm excited that I've got a lot of space.